Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Leslie from Our Little Homestead. Today I will be sharing two simple breakfast ideas for busy mornings. These two recipes can be made ahead and used every day of the week. The first meal idea is oat groats. Have you ever heard of oat groats? If you haven't, let me briefly explain. Oat groats are hulled whole grain oats. The part of the oat that is intact before it is steel cut. If you've ever heard of steel cut oats, then think of the oat groat as the stage before it is steel cut. I'll show you. In my hand, I have some oat groats, and you can see what they look like. Let's get started. This recipe can be made in your Instant Pot very easily. First, Fill your Instant Pot with 3 cups of oat groats, followed by 11 cups of water. Give it a little stir, put your Instant Pot lid on, turn the knob to ceiling, set the button to manual for 11 minutes. Let it build up to pressure and pressure cook, then when it beeps, continue to leave it in the pot for about an hour. During this time, you can make your other make-ahead recipe. After about an hour with your oat groats, open up the lid, stir the oat groats, and check the consistency. You're going to see that it's probably a soupy consistency at first. If it is not to the consistency that you want it to be, put the lid back on for about 50 more minutes. The total time that I did with this recipe was one hour and 54 minutes after the beep sounded at the end of the pressure cooking time. After you open the lid at the end of 50 minutes, stir together the oat groats and break up any clumps. See the consistency that I have it here. It sort of looks like a giant pot of oatmeal, but with a slightly different look. Now you can dish it up and put any toppings you want on it. I have a delicious blueberry compote that I make that does not have any added sugar and is completely warm and sweet to top your oat groats with. To make your blueberry compote, take a small saucepan and put a few blueberries in it, doesn't matter how much, just a handful or two. Put your stove on medium heat, then add a splash of vanilla and a small chunk of butter. Stir this up slightly, let it warm for a little bit. When the blueberries seem to be a little mushy, take any kind of masher, I used a meat masher in this case, and smash up the blueberries to where it kind of looks like a really liquidy jelly type thing, which is why I call it a compote. It's not quite a jelly, it's not a jam. Then when you're done, all you have to do is pour it over the top of your oat groats and you can add any other toppings you wish as well. I usually add peanut butter, a sprinkle of cinnamon, some walnuts, and maybe some slivered almonds as well. The next recipe is sourdough discard pancakes. Now you can make these pancakes without using sourdough discard. It just makes the recipe that much healthier. And it gives you something to do with your discard from your sourdough starter. All you have to do is dump the ingredients all in a bowl at the same time, mix up, and make your pancakes. First, get a big bowl, put one teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, three tablespoons of brown sugar, then add one teaspoon of salt, one and three quarter cup of milk. Any kind works. I've used almond milk. In this case, I used almond milk. I've also used regular whole milk before. Two eggs. Surprisingly, I was completely out of eggs in this recipe, so I used two mashed bananas, which worked completely fine. The pancakes will just have a bit of a banana taste. Two tablespoons of melted butter, one cup of sourdough discard, and two cups of flour. I prefer to use the unrefined, unbleached flour. I also added a splash of vanilla and a bit of cinnamon. Whisk all of this together or stir. Set your griddle to about 300 just to get it heated up and adjust as needed. I like to wipe a stick of butter over top of my griddle then I like to take a small cup measure, about a fourth of a cup size, to pour my pancakes on the griddle. This griddle can make eight pancakes at a time, and for this total recipe, you'll get about 20 pancakes, depending on the size of each pancake. You can top these pancakes with butter and some maple syrup, or you can use that blueberry compote we made a few minutes ago. 
You can also, my husband likes to put peanut butter and syrup or peanut butter and honey on top of his pancakes. These can be refrigerated and saved for the next morning. We often warm them up in our toaster oven to give them a little extra crispiness after being in the refrigerator, but you can always put them in the microwave to warm up the next day. These two simple meal ideas for busy mornings, the oat groats and the sourdough discard pancakes are both a healthy option, filling and very quick, and they can be made in under two hours and they will last your family all week long for breakfast. This usually feeds my family of four for a week of breakfast. I hope this has been helpful for you. Please like and subscribe below and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for stopping by our little homestead.